Hello YouTubers, jazz aficionados, practitioners of the craft, or the thing we call them jazz, and Charlie Parker like to call them modern music. This is Patrick Timms and I am continuing, uh, like what my one friend said, he said an odyssey. And uh, this is the first journey, uh, well it's not the first journey, if you look at some of my other videos I talked about you know how I came into you know loving jazz music but this is a continuation of my odyssey and uh, those that know me know that I'm I'm currently enrolled in the Master um, of Music and Jazz Studies at University of Arkansas Monticello and they are known for their jazz studies program at one time I think they're still the only jazz studies program here in Arkansas um, there may be some others, but uh, I believe this is the only one in Arkansas that's offering a master's. So I'm, I'm pretty excited and stoked about it. And I wanted to make a video that wanted to talk about, uh, you know, what do I expect uh, to learn? And I love to make uh, acronyms, and I came up with three R's. And those three R's are going to be refocus recalibrate and then re-educate I'll say them again it's refocus recalibrate and re-educate those are the three R's that was on my mind this morning when I came up with this list and I have the list right here in front of me so if I look down from time to time I'm looking on it so I don't want to lose my train of thought so uh, I don't have I can't afford a, a teleprompter you, you know <laughs> you out there that want to grant me some money to have a teleprompter and all that show me how to work all that technology welcome to do that you know if you want to so anyway let's talk about uh you know what i seek to accomplish at uam university of arkansas monticello jazz studies program first thing i want to get refocused and I intend to establish goals for the next 10 years. You know, uh, I've had performed on some CD projects and have uh, done various projects for different people, you know, but it, it's time for me to do some of my own work. Uh, so I have to have some goals in mind as far as that's concerned. So uh, I believe this is going to be a great opportunity for me to you know, establish some goals for the next 10 years. Uh, that's one thing I'm going to do. So I'm refocusing on, you know, what is important. Uh, that's another thing. What is important to me? You know, I can't be what somebody else wants me to be. I can only be what, what you know, I, I need to be. So it's, it's a refocusing. Okay. So there's the refocus aspect, and there's probably some more I can add to that, but that's the first R, the refocus. And we're moving to the second R, which is recalibrate. And, you know, when you recalibrate something, it's, like, it's almost like refocus, except I, I just like this word, recalibrate. That means you, you, you reset, you forget about what you, what you knew, and, and you kind of get reprogrammed, so to speak. And I'm excited about playing around players who are at a, at a higher level, and uh, some of them are at my level, but most of them are a little bit higher. You know, they've had a lot of playing experience. Uh, yesterday, uh, I met for the first time two of my classmates. I'm not going to mention their name because uh, they may not want me to mention their names, but let's, let's put it this way. We have some heavy hitters here coming to study. We have uh, people coming as far as California and, and, and Canada, and uh, Colorado and Alabama and you know for some reason I just thought it was just gonna be people from Arkansas but literally they are coming from all over the, the world and so you know I'm, I'm just floored with that and these people are not local either they have a significant international uh, playing experience some of them have traveled to Japan and Europe and and it, it just it just I'm just floored at the uh, diversity of players that we're, we're going to, you know, be studying with. And they all have different reasons for what they're, uh, you know, they're getting their masters. Uh, 
and you know I'm just really stoked and excited about that possibility so you know uh, I'm getting recalibrated and you know challenged and that's another part about the recalibration I'm challenged in new ways on all my instruments those who who don't know me uh, if you don't know me I'm pretty much known as a saxophone player but I also play trombone and I also play flute and I play clarinet and I uh, play bass a little bit. Um, you know, I played bass for about five years in my college jazz band. But, uh, you know, these, these opportunities we're going to have is going to challenge me in new ways. So I feel like I'm getting a, a, a reset, so to speak. And so that's one of the R's, recalibration. And then this is the last R that I mentioned. This is re-educate. Now, I'm expecting to learn new skills, in particular, arranging and composition. Uh, you've seen some of my videos I've talked about, you know, you know, you see me improvising. So I've at least got a little bit of background with that. Well, with the arranging and composition, I never had an arranging or composition teacher. I've just arranged pieces, but you know, not you know, not with it, you know, at the level that I'm gonna get here. So I'm I'm gonna get re educated. I took an or orchestration class and uh, it was from Arkansas Tech, it was uh, Mr. Parker. <laughs> uh, he was a percussion instructor at Arkansas Tech. I know he wouldn't mind me saying his name. That was a great course, by the way. I took an orchestration course with him, and outside of that, that was all of the arranging and orchestration courses that I'd ever, I'd ever had. So I'm kind of excited, really excited about that. Not kind, I'm really excited about that opportunity. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on arranging uh, for the elementary school ensemble. There are tons of pieces uh, for the middle school and you know elementary band, but I'm going to arrange it for like the ORF instruments, the xylophones, and the recorder, and try to keep it at the level where it's fun and interesting for my students, but then at the same time, it sounds great and, and exciting. So that's my goal. I'm I'm I've considered you know going and being a, a junior high band director and a high school band director. But, you know, I thought about it, and there's not too many elementary school specialists, so I think I'm going to stick with this. I really have thought of it, and I like teaching elementary uh, school music. It's a different challenge altogether. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I still teach high school, and I still teach middle school. I've had one of my students uh, that I taught, it was with a group associated with called Rocktown. I taught him uh, lessons he'll come to my church and get lessons and come to my house and get lessons and he actually made all state and I was I'm pretty excited about that and there's another student that I had a little bit to do with uh, you know we'd teach him in, in sectionals and whatnot and he's going to uh, one of the major colleges here in Arkansas so but I'm just letting you know that you know I have taught high school and uh, middle school students um, I'm excited about new instrumental pedagogy techniques and so uh, you know how to teach uh, how to play jazz that's I mean that's big there are a lot of uh, music teachers slash band directors that they really don't know how to teach uh, how to play jazz and uh, it, it being an oral tradition you know you can't go with the sheet music all the time you know you need to know how to read and all that but I'm excited about learning new instrumental techniques and how to teach it to them. Uh, another thing, um, transcribing and improvisation classes. You know, I expect that to be a, a big part of our, you know, our program here is going to be, uh, you know, improvisation class and transcribing. And it's, it, it it's, it's going to be an eye opener and, you know, I'm, person in my heart that I, I do what they ask me to do and, and and hold my part down if I'm in the big band and in the combo class add to it and I'm going to leave ego at the door all right and another thing I'm looking down here it's really I mean I took lessons uh from Scotty Step Scotty Step 
It was a saxophone profession, professor. I took lessons. That was my my first starter playing saxophone. But other than other than that, I've just basically been self taught. And so this is my first real private jazz lesson. You know, under uh, it's going to be under Pete Berenberg. And Pete Berenberg, if you don't know uh, his name, uh, he was at one time he was like over the Airmen of Note. He was he was like the leader. I think he was a he was either a command. Well, I used to be in the army. He was a command sergeant major, or you know he was top NCO. Let's put it that way. NCO means non commissioned officer. So uh, Airmen of Note is pretty difficult to even get in in the group and he he was in there i won't say 25 years so i'm kind of excited he plays all his doubles at a high level he plays saxophone and clarinet and, and flute and i'm thinking i may just focus on my saxophone playing we may have some lessons on flute i doubt it i think it's going to be pretty much saxophone i kind of leave it up to him what we're going to do well this is going to conclude what I seek to accomplish at UAM. Uh, I may make a part two, uh, but I want to document, you know, what I'm doing. This is my room. <laughs> I'm, I'm back <laughs> where I started. I was in Arkansas Tech. That's where I got my undergrad, those who don't know. And it was a room <laughs> similar to this. Oh, boy. Oh, if you go to UAM, and you get your room, if you're going to go get your master's like I'm doing, don't cut the air off. I cut that air off and it didn't come back on. So what I'm going to do, I have to figure out what I did. I, I don't think there's something wrong with it. I, I think it's just, I, I think I messed it up. I don't know. I had to go talk to, I got to go talk to an RA. I hadn't talked to an RA in years. So uh, the the staff and the the, the uh the people here at UAM, as far as residence life, have been great. They work with you. Uh, they've been, you know, trying to help us get settled and acclimatized. And so, I'm just happy, uh, you know, to have this opportunity. You know, it's almost like band camp. Almost it, those who went to band camp, uh, in, in that you, you practice all the time. Uh, I arrived here yesterday afternoon. And, you know, had to go to Walmart and get things and, and all that. So, uh, you know, just getting used to it. I'll probably do an update on all this uh, maybe sometime tomorrow. And you'll start seeing, uh, you know, what I've been doing. Maybe even, you know, record some practice sessions. I don't, I don't know. I have to just kind of see and get a feel for, you know, some people don't like that. They, they, they want to be perfect. Every time they want everybody to see them, you know, at their very best. And I get that. So we'll see. All right. Well, I normally try to get these videos to only be nine minutes or so. And I'm looking at them at 13. So I'm going to stop there. If I have a part two, um, I'll be getting with you. So this is what I seek to accomplish at University of Arkansas Monticello. And I need everybody that can. I need you to think about me in, in your in your prayers and because uh, this is this is not going to be like one of my friends says, it's not going to be a cakewalk. So, uh, you know, I want to be challenged and I want to do my best. I'll see you cats later. You have a good jazz day.